We use um, an autoresponder called Active Campaign. And I'm not sure many people on the call have heard of it. Again, Aweber, Get Response, Mailchimp. Are there any ones of any other big names I'm missing, Chad? Uh, for for like the flow the workflow like you have, it's or, probably Active Campaign and Drip would be the two biggest. Yeah, and then Infusionsoft, which is a way bigger implementation, would do something like this as well. But what you're seeing on the screen right now is a workflow. Now, when people purchase something from us, or when they just sign up for our freebie list, either or, we can put them into a workflow that looks like so. And um, this integrates very nicely with our shopping cart system. So Active Campaign is an email autoresponder. It lets us send automated email broadcasts to our mailing list. Um, but it is separate from WooCommerce, which is our, our shopping cart system, which in itself has a database and keeps track of all of the orders that come through uh, our company. They're linked together using a plugin in WordPress. So every time somebody purchases something in WooCommerce, they are they get added to or appended in our autoresponder system here, and we tag them with all of the different products they've purchased. So you can see here, if I zoom back in, this is an automation. And an automation is a workflow that somebody goes through when they take action on something in our business. So in this case, if, if a customer gets tagged with a tag called Purpose Project PLR Special, then a series of uh, steps now happens in our business. This to me is the heart of a sales funnel because, or not really the heart, it's, I guess it's the extension, it's the money maker of your sales funnel because we talk about repeat customers. This is how you engage with your customers after the fact, okay? So somebody buys something, you follow up them a few times after they buy it. This you can do behavior-based marketing now. So these are emails and things that you would send to people based on the fact that they bought this. Nobody else on your list will receive these emails that's why I like Active Campaign because you can tailor your, tailor your email marketing to the behaviors of your customers. Very, very powerful stuff. You can't do that, at least not easily, with Aweber. I think there's some other tools, but anyways, we'll get into the tools possibly later today or maybe on a second call. Um, so what we say is, okay, we've got some conditions here. So uh, we have a monthly membership base. If people are already members, we don't, and they happen to buy this, or they used to be a member, then we want them out of the automation because we offer a membership. I don't want to resell a membership to a member. So I exclude them from any further marketing. Uh, and then we send an email. Now this goes out right away. There's no, there, I could add a condition here to wait for a certain period of time. It could be five minutes, five days, five hours, whatever. Um, we send this email. Now this email is a thank you note that that we always send and our thank you note in this case said thanks for buying here's um here's how to claim your uh, bonuses in other scenarios we do surprise bonuses so we, we will do unannounced bonuses just to kind of keep our customers guessing right they'll buy something from us maybe it was a 27 dollar transaction or 47 whatever they go and they get the thank you email and it gives them some kind of housekeeping stuff then all of a sudden it's like hey you um, we'd love to give you this as a bonus. Hit reply or go to our help desk and let us know which bonus you want, A, B, or C, or let us know which product you want from this group of choices. Uh, we often do that in that first welcome email. Then we start some additional automation. So again, think of the process of that guy selling a suit, somebody selling a car, uh, you're selling consulting services uh, to big corps, and you need to send you know, follow-up material, maybe you need to send videos of you in action. Th that those are all sales funnels just executed in different ways. So what we do as PLR sellers is we just send follow-up emails based on the fact that they bought this special. So next condition ha we have here is we say, all right, this person bought from us yesterday. Did they buy the upgrade offer? So it says, does the contact have the tag purpose project PLR upgrade? That's literally a little setting we put on the second or that first upsell. So if it says no, that means the person did not buy upsell number one. So we send an email to them saying, hey, um, thanks for buying our product. Did you get your three bonuses? So we're checking in on them. We're doing some value delivery here first. And then at the bottom of the email, we say just a quick reminder that the upgrade is still available. It lets you uh, get audio and video versions of this product, it may come in super handy for uh, your membership sites, blah, blah, blah. And we resend them back to that upsell page just as a follow-up or a reminder. If you look up the stats on selling, very often uh, prospects or even existing customers need to see your offers four, five, six, seven times before they buy. 
I'm kind of like that. I'm so all over the map that I'll forget somebody's offering something. And then on their eighth follow-up, I finally go, okay, what, what was this again? <laughs> finally look at it, right? Um, some people need that amount of persistent follow-up. So this lets you do that. We just do it once, but you can do it more if you want. And then we send them back to the normal workflow here, which is if somebody did take the upgrade, then we send them another follow-up email. I forget what this one was. Oh, this one was a custom coupon. So we say, hey, thanks for buying the Purpose Project. We have a hidden coupon for you as a customer of this deal uh, for a product that would actually couple very nicely with uh, helping people find their life purpose. Um, and it's, uh, you know, it does this, and this, and this. It has these features. Here is a coupon code just for you. Um, but then what we do is we make, we add a little mystery and fun to it. We say, uh, head over to the sales page, add it to your cart and put this coupon in to see how much the price drops. People like that, not everybody buys it, but they want, they at least go over and load it into their cart just to check. So we send them that and then we do a membership offer here. These membership offers, we vary. Uh, I, I like to do a lot of um, interaction. So I'll actually tell people, hey, we've got a membership. And then for uh, buyers of this, we've got a special offer on our membership. If you'd like to know more about it, um, click here to fill in a ticket and, and, uh, and we'll get back to you. And we actually have one-on-one -on -one conversations with people. Now that may not work for you if you're just selling really cheap downloads, it may. But if you're doing coaching or you're doing, you have like an upcoming uh, retreat or something that really requires that you explain it and you, you want to offer them like a two for one, bring your sister to the retreat and it's free, whatever, um, you can get them engaged in a conversation that way. So that's where we send them over our help desk and, and do some initial selling or additional selling.